Um, all right, so mine is a water snake. Um, I, I set my rig up to where I wouldn't have to modify my kayak at all. Um, and this thing's got a lot of use on it. So I use these uh, connectors. Not really zooming in for me. And I have, <coughs> excuse me. I have a battery box set up, and this just sits on my uh, just sits on the back of behind my seat, strapped down like anything else. It's a 55 amp hour. This is a water snake. Um, S T18S for salt. Uh, like I said, it's got a few years on it already. Um, so the only thing, so this is the pod now. And so the back of your pod that has the rubber strap, it connects in here. The front that clips in is up here. Um, to install the motor, you take these two screws out and lift this plate off, put the motor in and put that back on and then you clamp the motor just as if it were a, uh, you know, on the back of the boat. So what I was saying earlier, and I'll show you in a second, uh, it doesn't, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't totally clear the bottom of the boat, but you see the the mount. The mount has this piece right here where the tip of my foot is. It keeps the motor from coming up and the prop hitting uh, the bottom of the kayak if it's running. So that's the idea. Um, so it's kind of a safety feature to keep you from slamming in. Sorry for the bad video. Alright, so shop's a mess. Forgive me. I've been out doing some gardening. I don't use my pod very often, maybe in the future. I'm actually considering swapping over. Uh, but I'm just going to show you how simple it drops in. Back, it's a tight fit. Take your strap on. It's done deal. Okay, so now I've never cut my shaft off. I've been wanting to because you really don't need it that high. I could cut it off to where that head goes all the way to the bottom right now. It does run okay. But to give you an idea, with it all the way up, there's the clearance on the bottom of the kayak. So, no mods to the kayak at all. I got a bunch of stuff kind of stacked on top of it, sorry. No mods to the kayak at all. I strap this thing in, battery sits behind my seat, that cable runs underneath, underneath the seat, plugs into the battery box. I control everything from the seat because honestly, I don't use this thing every time. I only take it uh, windy days or if I want to cover a lot of ground. Uh, let me know what other questions you got. Uh, I am considering going to the pod mount. There is a way to connect, to put that in the pod as well. I just never did it. Um, not saying I won't. I think it's a great option, but my problem is I like to steer from this because when I'm using my trolling motor and fishing, I put my paddle away and I just use this. I'll anchor. I have a, you can't see it, but if you notice from my picture, I have an anchor pole. I'll drop an anchor pole down, turn the motor off, drop the motor out of my way, and fish. And uh, it doesn't hurt a thing. I've never got a line caught on the motor underneath it, like some people have complained. Never had any issues from that spot being weak. The guy saying that, I think they're just being overly cautious. That's fine, it's great. But I've already did mods that voided my warranty. I had to rod orders, so who cares? No harm, they foul. Later. <laughs>